Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and today I am at Country Square Western Wear in Auburn, Washington, and I'm finally trying Justin's Bent Rail Boot. This is BR764. Let's get into it. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to try Justin's Bent Rail Boot and Line. Now this is Justin's line that is made in the USA. So they have lines that are made in Mexico, China, and the USA. This is Justin's USA made boot right here. Now it says on the box that it's made in the USA with global parts. So not Everything about this boot is US, but it, it's made in the USA. I'm already noticing a huge quality difference between the Justin 1409 review that I did at Redmond. This is so much softer of a leather, okay? Um, also, I'm noticing that the heel is, I think, wood or composite or something. The spur ridge comes much farther out. Uh, the sole here is very durable uh, we have different treads in the middle of the foot than along the side the sole is held in with brass nails here is a single stitch welt here sort of a short boot uh, I don't know it kind of looks like 11 inches or so uh, I'm kind of excited to try this boot for an insole. It's the, uh, performance insole, I believe it's called. I have an 11D here, so it's the same size that I tried of the model 1409 Justin in Redmond. And the insole, it looks much more durable than that boot. This is, this feels like a nice boot. You can just see how soft it is too, right? There's so much give here, so much more than what we were dealing with on that stiff 1409 model. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm, I think I'm ready to try it on. I like the toe too. It's just sort of a, a small angled square here. I'm not sure what toe number this is. This is a pretty durable boot. I'm ready to try it on. Let's do it. Wow, wow right when I put my foot in this boot. It feels really, really good. I'm impressed with this boot right off the bat. Okay, so there's a lot more, a lot more give here. It's so much softer. It's so much more comfortable than that other model. It's a, it's a very light boot too. I'm kind of impressed with how light this is. Uh, comparing it to the Dan Post, which is what I've been wearing today, the Dan Post Thin Red Line, this is so light. Wow. Man, it would be really easy to walk around in these. And there's a lot of tread there. Like I'm not slipping at all in this. I'm kind of impressed. Like usually I'm not that excited about Justin's um, but this is a nice boot. That leather, I just can't get, I just can't get over how soft the leather is. It's like, it's it like, it's, it feels like a completely different company made this boot. It's a very light boot too. It's, we were talking in one of the pr previous reviews, like the Dan Post felt unbalanced and had a lot of weight in the back on the heel, but this is, this has a lot of balance to it. It feels evenly distributed in weight which is kind of impressive because the, it's such a light boot to begin with. You would imagine there would be so much more weight in the heel just because it's just because it's so light, but it, it just feels so evenly distributed on this boot. We got a, I don't know, it's not, it's a little bit more than an inch on this heel. I have the 11D, like I said, so this is the same exact size. So it doesn't seem like the Mexican built boots and the US made boots, at least for these two that I tried, differ too much. It's the same exact size and same width. 
It's a one and a half inch heel is what they're saying. It's a, they call it a one and a half inch cowboy block. Oh, it is, the insole is J-Flex comfort system. Okay. Okay, so we have a, it is a J-Flex comfort system, but it's completely different. It's completely different. This, this insole does not compare to the other J Flex that I tried. It's so much different. I wonder, I wonder what the deal is with that. This boot is going for $224.99 here at Country Square Western Wear. I mean, it's a very reasonable price. I would, I would probably go for this boot um, if I was in the market for, for something like this right now. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this boot, and this is just personal preference, is the dual tone. I am never really a fan of mixing uh, black and browns. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just not my style to, to, to mix a, a black foot or black vamp with the brown tops. I do like the stitching, the colorful stitching. And, and then again, there's a whole line of bent rails. And uh, they, they differ from toe sizes to uh, how tall the boot is. There's a lot of different styles in the bent rail from what I've seen online. And I'm kind of impressed with this bent rail 764 model. It's really nice. Uh, US made, like I said again, uh, they are doing the J-Flex insole. So I got that wrong and it is a completely different J-Flex insole. Uh, like by far, I'll show you guys the video and you can tell between this one and the Mexican made 1409 boot, it is way different. And it feels like it would hold up much better than that uh, Mexican made 1409 insole that they also call J Flex, which is kind of confusing. I'm impressed with Justin on this boot. They should make all their stuff like this. Let me know what you think of the bent rail Justin here uh, and what kind of models you have, whether it be this one, which is the BR764 or other ones, uh, and what you think about the differences between uh, Mexican made Justins and US made Justins. Don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe, and smash that like button too. I'll see you guys next time, peace. Bent rail, bent rail. Is Justin's mass produced holy grail? Their US made boots is the best without fail. Bend a rail, bend a rail is Justin's mass produced holy grail. Amen. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Have a good one.